was like, oh my gosh, yes. it is worth it to buy something good. You know, yeah. like I knew, like I knew these were good. That's yeah. why I was willing to. It, it's that thick, heavy kind of plasticky fabric. You know, um, like they used to be. Yeah, I can take them out and blow one up. Yeah. And, and then also, once you blow it up, it'll never go back to that size, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it Oh, it does. It does. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. So, uh, you can actually put it back in the box? Yeah, if you wanted oh, yeah. to. There's a little carry bag that comes with it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, How much? yeah. So here it is. Oh, How much does it cost? They're, they're over $200, but when, because we had had it for what, four or five years? Yeah. Except that's the widest and the longest. Um, that's, yeah, that's true. For, for Bernie and I, yeah. They, they we have it. smaller ones, too. So these they're are the brand new ones that they sent us. Wow. Yeah. That is Pretty amazing, so cool. huh? Yeah. And, and you can see here, I can, we can lay it down and have you guys try it, because it is so comfortable. Yeah, this, is, this, thing. this is a 25 by 78, 25 inches by 78, and they make them as small as 20 by 66. Okay. So, it's not, not a long six by. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. You're paying for the name yeah. on Yeti, too. This is a, called a Squatch Box, and it's about for the same size, about $100, $125 cheaper than a Yeti. Yeah. And this will keep ice in it for seven days. Oh, wow. It's amazing how, how long it keeps ice. You see it's got a gasket here? Uh-huh. And then when you put it down, you actually have to pull down and hold these things down. So it's too late to have it just to have ice when you're on the road, right? Well, uh, or just keep, you know, if you want stuff cold for a long time. You know? How much does it cost? This is was $200. And it's a lot less than a Yeti, but just the same quality? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah there, there's there's a place <laughs> out in Arizona that I can show you one we've got. It's a gas station where you can get one this size for about $100. And wow. it's a good one, too. And they have three sizes bigger. Is it also Squatch Box? It's not Squatch Box, it's a different brand, but it's still the same technology. It's the same quality. And what's nice about these too is when you clean them, Marianne will scrub the a conventional ice, like an igloo or something like that. They get really dirty inside and, and they're really hard to clean. This you can just clean with a sponge. It never gets really dirty, I don't know why. But, and then uh, other key things for ice chests, if, you, if you're going to be um, in really hot weather or something and you're not going to be close to where you really want to conserve your ice, you know? Uh -huh. So what you do is you get ice and put it in there like a few hours before you ever load your ice chest. And then take whatever food you want and, and pack ice all around it. And to see, when you put ice in it to begin with, uh -huh. you're cooling the whole ice chest down. The inside. Oh, so do that before you yeah. put your food in. Yeah. And then you put your food in and you put more ice. And then you close it. And when you open it, you only open it for a very, very short time. So, and then when you close it, you close it and you and you latch it. So, you know, you would get a bottle out and close it. The, the, the longer this lid is open, the more cool air you lose. Yeah. Mm. So, Another thing we can do that we've done too is like we have, we always have extra blankets or sleeping bags or something. We'll put a sleeping bag or a blanket over this and that insulates it even more, mm. you know, from the heat. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can, it's amazing. Um, and, oh yeah, and Marianne will take bottles like this and freeze them and then you can put these in there too, you know, so yeah. then you have cold water whenever you want, but you have you, know, you don't have to buy ice that way. And uh, you can drink the water as it, you don't have to dump the water out. How long have you had that one? This one, uh, about three years. Yes. We've got another one we've had two years, and another one that we've only had one. But this is the first one I bought. And, uh, they pay for the themselves. One, the next one is a little bit bigger, and the last one was a little bit bigger than that. But, I don't, they make them really big, but you know, I don't like them really big because they're just harder to carry.
you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. And Mary Ann can so I don't want to carry them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and especially the heavy ones, so. Um, um, I, don't, I don't know, but we've had... Then, and you bring your chair, and then you just take a shovel, take a little scoop of the, of the coals, mm -hmm. and put them underneath your chair, and you just sit there, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Take a big cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's trying to heat it oh. safe. Yeah. So you leave the top open and just yeah. put the coals inside yeah. and then it's a little heater. Yeah. Wow. And, and where we go, like on the sand or the dirt, as long as there's no brush around, sometimes uh -huh. we'll just, if we don't have a can, we'll just stick it under, under like the, the coals on the under, oh, on the ground yeah. uh -huh. under the yeah. chair. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah.